Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I just wanted to film a really laid back get ready with me where we just hang out and do some makeup because honestly during this self-isolation time it has been a long time since I have put some makeup on my face and clearly it needs it. So if you want to see that just keep on watching. So for the remainder of this video I decided to throw my hair up in a bun just because it's really hot in my room so please bear with me. I know it's not as pretty as the hair down but it's okay because we're gonna make it work. So to start things off, we need to prime the lids. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer because it's super full coverage and it's gonna cancel any discoloration we have on our eyelids out. So I'm just going to apply that. And now that I look crazy, we're gonna take a brush to blend that all out. You could use a sponge for this step. I just like to use a brush because it's easier to get in these small spaces and diffuse it out, I think, um, because the sponge is a little too big for my eye and I look crazy right now, but it's okay. It's gonna come together. And you wanna like get in the inner corners to make sure that's all blended out so that when you go over there with like foundation and anything else, it all is seamless and there's not like a line. So you wanna really diffuse it out on these outer parts. And then to set that, you're going to use like any bone shade or white shade. And I'm actually going to use the palette we're going to be using today, which is the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to go in this shade called Zazz at the bottom right corner. And I'm just going to run that all over my eyelid to set down that concealer so that we don't get any streaking when we're applying our eyeshadow later on. All right, so for this step, we're just going to take that same brush that we used to set down our eyelids. And we're going to go into the shade up here and lightly tap in there because we don't want too much and we're just going to run that into our crease a little bit to get a little bit dimension all right so now that we have our crease color we're going to go ahead and do that eyeliner so you just want to use anything that has like a straight edge anything around your house like for instance what i'm using is i'm just using this empty like pack of earrings thing because realistically this is what i'd use anyway so or a card or anything with a flat edge you can use tape but I don't like to put the like tape on my eye. I just don't think it's good for them. So I don't do that. So for this step, I'm gonna take a like pencil smudger brush kind of, and I'm gonna go back into that shade that we just used in our crease. And I'm gonna get a little bit more on the brush this time. And I'm gonna tap off the excess. And I'm gonna take what I'm using to create my flat edge. And I am just going to run that on the edge and kind of close my eye and kinda on the lash line as well. So you wanna use the lightest shade and you wanna create the biggest part of your wing with the lightest shade because you'll go in and you'll make it more dense with a darker shade and like a black once we get there. All right, so this is what it should sort of look like right now. You should really just have like a brown wing and then you're gonna go in with a darker color. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go into the middle top shade right up here, which is just a deeper brown. I'm gonna tap off the excess. Now you wanna be a little bit careful because this is darker. So this can look much more muddy kinda if you aren't as careful. So I'm gonna take that and I am just going to run right over where I went already and just make more of our wing. So you're really just gradually deepening it. You don't have to, you can keep it as light as you want, but my personal preference, I prefer it a little bit darker just so that it's more noticeable because I have brown eyes, so it can kind of get lost if it's too light. So now I'm just gonna go in with like a flatter brush and this is a Morphe, let's see, a Morphe M432. And I'm gonna go in with this color right here, the reddish tone. Sometimes I skip over the red and I go straight for the black, but today I'm feeling the red. So since this brush is more flat, you don't really have to use the card because you really just want to focus this by the lash line because this is really just deepening and adding depth to the look.
So I decided to pull that red into my inner corner so that when this is all over, it can make my eyes appear squintier and a more cat eye or foxy eye. And now for the final step of the eyeliner, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go into this deep black. Now you wanna be careful, especially if you're using this palette because these colors are very, very pigmented. And you're only gonna put that right next to your lash line out on the outer part of the look. So now that the top portion of our eyes are done, we can move on to the face. So I'm just gonna go into the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and I'm just gonna put that all over the face. This primer makes a dewy base underneath your foundation and it makes you look very healthy. So that's why I like this. I'm actually almost out. I don't know if you can tell. Yep. All right, so for foundation, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I love this foundation because it's super full coverage. So I just put that on the bottom of my beauty blender and it's pretty runny. And then I just put dots all over my face and I just blend it in. So two pumps is usually enough for my face, depending on how my skin is. But as of right now, my skin looks pretty decent. So two pumps is enough. You want to be sure that you don't ruin that wing. Like, don't go over it. So any of my people with hoop nose rings, what do you do when you do your makeup? Do you take it out or do you just like go over it? Because me personally, I just go over it and then wipe it off when I'm done. But I don't know if it's really good. Make sure to go down the neck. The reason I'm asking also about the nose ring is because the last time that I did that, like I was doing makeup for a while, like every single day, and I was putting it over and then I got a keloid, but it went away. But I don't like them. They don't feel very good. So anything I can do to avoid them. Now for concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser Concealer. Um, I go for these like they're sticks of butter. I love them. Some people don't like them. But I don't know. They're just not too heavy. And I think they make my under eyes look really good. I'm going to place that on my under eyes, down my nose, chin, Cupid's bow. Then I'm going to blend it all in. I like to start with the middle on my face so that the concealer can sit longer underneath my eyes and be more full coverage. So now to sit down the concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Loose Finishing Powder. And I'm just going to put some into the cap and dump it all over myself. And then I'm going to take my blender or my sponge and I am just going to place that underneath my eye. Now I'm not going to really bake. I'm just kind of going to put it under there and then blend it out and diffuse it. I just find that when I bake with this I do get a white cast like not even in photography just normally. If you were to just look at my face you'd see it. My dog's whining. And I'm kind of just going to go in the spots that I put concealer down and set that. Alright, to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation. I didn't realize how much Maybelline I was going to be using. And then I'm going to go in with a flat top brush. Typically, you would use a powder like fluffier brush, but I tend to use these just because I am like full coverage glam. So I like to get that on there. So I just dunk it in the powder and set down my face everywhere that I didn't already set with the loose powder. All right, next I'm gonna bronze and I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm just gonna put that on the outer perimeters of my face. <coughs> <coughs> Choking on the smell of this. I love it, but when it does up in your face, Ooh, child. Little 
little bit on the nose. I don't really contour my nose, I just bronze it up. Under my lip, under the chin, under the jaw. And then I have somebody force you to put the brush down because it's what I need. I'm gonna go on my beauty blender again and just make sure that it's all blended seamlessly. And just go over top of the bronzer. And the next step is blush and I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Island Hottie Blush Palette. And I'm gonna go in, what shade do I wanna use? I think I want to use this one and this one hope it's pretty gorgeous all right so i went a little heavy with that but nothing your brushes and a beauty blender can't fix. So next I'm gonna spray my face with the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray. I love this stuff, I'm almost out. As you can see, I need to get a new one. And I'm just gonna spray all over my face. I'm gonna take a bath on it. Then right after I've sprayed, I'm gonna highlight and I'm actually gonna use the MAC Whisper of Guilt Highlight which looks like this. And I'm just gonna put that on the high points of my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, just everywhere pretty much because highlight is my favorite part. I'm very heavy handed with my highlight. Chin, forehead. I just like to glow like a disco ball, okay? Is that too much for a girl to ask for? So now that all the powders on our face are done, we're gonna go ahead and do brows. And I'm actually gonna use something I haven't used before. This is the Revlon Colorstay Brow Mousse. My sister said she liked it, so we're gonna give it a go. I guess you just like twist it out. But I'm not like getting anything. Oh. There it goes. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna brush it through my brows. I don't typically do much to my brows. Just because they're already pretty thick on their own. But I don't know if it's doing anything. Maybe I need more. Is it doing anything? Oh. Actually. So I think the brows actually turned out looking kind of decent. Um, really natural, nothing too crazy. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the eyes and we're gonna finish the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back with our palette and I'm gonna go back with this brush and I'm gonna go to the top right shade. And you're just gonna focus that right underneath the lash line. I'm gonna take that smudger brush. Just blend. And that's all we're gonna do for the bottom lash line. We're then gonna go back into our highlighter. I'm just gonna use my pinky and I'm going to highlight here in the corner. A little bit. A lot of it, maybe. Because I can. And now for mascara, I'm going to use the Lancome Monster Big. 
This is my favorite mascara and I'm just going to coat the lashes. So I think this has actually dried out, which is super sad. So I'm gonna go and grab a different mascara. So I grabbed the Glossier Lash Slick. Um, this is a completely different kind of mascara, but I think it might help to like space them out. Yeah, it's really doing what I needed it to do. I almost forgot I don't know how I could forget so I'm gonna go on with the eyeliner from Morphe in the shade dark room and it's just the black and I'm gonna put that on my waterline and tight line with that ideally you do this before mascara and not be like me and don't forget now we're going to move on to lips, so I'm going to use the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Nude, and I'm just going to line my lips. Alright, and now that we're lined, we're going to use the MAC Honey Love Lipstick. And I feel like I'm feeling glossy today, so I'm just going to go in with this Sephora Perfect Nude Lip Gloss. I don't know what the actual name of it is, like what the product is called. Now we're gonna spray our face with the Catrice Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray, just to lock that all in. Make sure it sprays. And this is the completed look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Leave any comments down below of any videos you'd like to see in the future, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.